But um, then how I did this little decorative thing is I used a special brush tool up here. Um, I'm not sure where that one's under, but you can get all different kinds of effects under assorted brushes, full finish brushes. That's how I did the candles too, pen pressure. And you can see you can pick, like I want these little music notes. Um, I can crank this up to a bigger size. And I could put some music notes on here. But maybe I need a darker color. So we can see that. And see if I just click, they go on there, or I can, you know, click it all over. And like hold it down and drag it. So that's like a special effects brush. Um, now for the candles, let's see. Um, let me show you some fine under spoilers. There's all different kinds, you kinda gotta look at your natural maybe. That was like a scratchy effect. Oh here's the one I think I used for the but I want my audacity back up. And then I think I want to pick up for this video to do. And then, you know, you can drag that around and make your icing on your face. Isn't that pretty? There we go. And then, um, I think I had that as a little bigger brush, though, but for all intents and purposes, I think that's fine. And then I used a different brush tool for this candle top, and then a different one to do the stroking of the thick of it. Um, not sure what you can use, and I'll show you when I find a good one. Oh, let's just use this one. Let's see what happens. Um, so if I click on here, you get a different color. Let's say make them red or whatever. Let's see, we can, we can put a new layer, actually. Layer, new layer. We could call it candle. And say OK. You can click, hold down shift, and then now see if I alter it, it'll be off. So what I use is the ruler sometimes. So if I click over here on my ruler, see how I, there's this little line following me at the top? So if I line that up and I say OK, on, on the left side there's one and on the top there's one. So you can see here's one and here's a line here. Then I can line everything up. So if I put this, like, let's just say two and a half, and then, okay, so let me go by the top. If I put it at two, like right on that two inch mark, and hit shift, and then come down, I want to make sure I'm right back on the two line. When I hold shift and then click again, now it's straight. And then I can move that. If I click the move tool, now I can move it anywhere I want. So at least it's it's on there straight. So I use the rulers a lot if I'm doing like a grid or if I want to make a straight line on something, you know. And then for the candle top, I use like yellow and orange to make the with a different brush tool. Um, let's see what this does. So it's kind of fun to play around with the different brushes. Your top, and then I use like an orange too for the middle. Or you can put it on the outside. 